Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Tuesday, June 3rd, 2014. All right, uh, yesterday's numbers, announcements, uh, pretty much in line, maybe slightly positive, which is why the market was slightly positive yesterday. Well, I don't know if that's the reason or not. I really have no idea. I can't speak for the hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of people that were trading yesterday and pushing prices around. And a couple of the big dogs that were really pushing prices around. But anyway, for today, we have motor vehicle sales with no time on it and factory orders at 10 a.m. And a couple other little, um, in theory, non-market affecting um, announcements and then <clears throat> the red book um, is it the red book that uh, is pretty interesting oh yeah and, it, and it's kind of interesting because um, the beige book is the one that I think uh, is interesting because it shows you what the government is spending I believe but the red book, I don't know, you may have an interest in that. I really don't know. Uh, I won't be reading it, though. Plenty of other things going on in my life. Over here, across the ponds, uh, I find this headline here kind of interesting. Uh, over in Asia, we are looking at mostly uh, bullish with a pretty good day almost everybody in the green and in Europe almost everybody is red this morning well I mean not almost everybody is bearish this morning and it's lunch time over there so they're all heading to the pub at least in England I don't know what it's called in other countries all right enough uh, gibberish let's move on here uh, our futures here in the U.S. are looking like they may open down a tad. Gold is up a whopping $1.90 overnight. And oil, interestingly enough, is down to 102.25. Notice how it feels good to say oil is down to 102.25. How we've been acclimated to this 103, almost 104 range that we've been playing around in. Now it feels good when it gets down to $102 a barrel. Geez, I can remember when it was like $18 or $20 a barrel, but I may be dating myself, so let's just stay away from that for right now. Uh, and then yesterday I entered an Amazon. It's a 20 Delta trade. Let's go over here to the A plus list. And LinkedIn, I did a 50 Delta trade on. Still in TLT and bought the shorts back for like 4 cents and 3 cents, respectively, on Boeing and CVX. So effectively, we're locked in on those. And this is what's left. These are the long strikes still left over here. And they're worth only 5.5 cents at this time. So it's not worth. Uh, a transaction fee to close those at the right now. Uh, so I'm just going to let them ride and we will take almost maximum profit on those for this week. So we're already better than the last two weeks. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Okay, so I'll take a look at what we open today as we go through the A plus list. So let's get started right now. All right, let's go back here so I can toggle back and forth. There we go. All right, so I know yesterday and a couple of times I said I'm not interested in Apple because of the split, but I think we may still have one trade left this week. So for Apple, this is set up territory. Oops. Wrong drawing. Let's get our target tool back. Um, this is set up territory for Apple. So that would be a good enough move for me. So if we get a hook up today, uh, I may be interested in a trade here. 
let's see, oops, I think we got something messed up here, there we go, and what are we looking at today, no, nope. at least looking at very pre-market trades, we are not going to get a hook on this today, so let's just move on, actually I'm going to record this as a setup, all right, um, Amazon. We'll look at our Amazon trade. Here's our 20 delta trade. This little arrow here just means that this is the day that I entered it, but I think I'm going to change that from an arrow from now on to just putting a time. And what time was it? I could look at my clock or my um, to look at my uh, phone but it was about noon or so so it was noon when we entered this oh that's not I had to pick the wrong one or oh, price level over here all right and we can Activate it over here and move it around. Oh, it's right at 12 anyway, so that's good. All right. So it was about noon. Right? I don't like that either. You know what? I'll have to figure out uh, what it is I want to do. What's the line weight is one. And I'm just going to take it out of there. We don't really care what time. Well, uh, actually, this bar here will tell us at what time. So we're not worried about that. Back to our... <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Back to our target tool. So Amazon, we jumped in on this with a 20 delta. We had these violations along here, so I thought, well, I'm going to do a 20 delta on it. All right, over to Boeing, which we closed. We are now out of Boeing. I probably could have let this thing ride, but the safest thing to do is just to buy back your shorts if they're cheap enough under a nickel and then there's no worry all right Baidu uh, let's see here this actually is this was in a setup Do we have yeah this was uh, recorded as a setup yesterday but we didn't get our confirmation so we'll give it one more day okay Let's go to Celgene. Celgene never came down here to our target, so now we're going to have to wait for the next one. And I looked at, uh, actually looked at a 20 delta on this yesterday and just could not get far enough away. Unless you go way out in expiration, and I wasn't feeling real good about that. IV percentile is 9, and we're looking at an IV of 26%. So it's not all that hot of a commodity right now from a uh, premium perspective anyway all right Chipotle we're waiting for it to come to our target here Costco we have um, added a, a couple of them here we're looking at a 20 Delta here and then making it an iron condor over here, we have a, ooh, that may not be a good iron condor candidate. You have to look at it very carefully with IV of only 15%. It's like, we're, we need some volatility here, folks. Doesn't affect our 50 delta trades, but it sure does affect our 20 deltas. So that's uh, that's sort of a possibility. We are in setup here for Costco for a 20 delta. All right, we don't have any price movement. We're, con we're as far as I'm concerned, we're definitely tied to a a price range of one six of uh, hundred and sixteen dollars and fifty cents, and approximately. $113, I would say, with one violation here. So, that's like a $2 range, $3 range. Um, you 
it's very tempting to play it if it's going to stick to it. All right, CVX that we exited yesterday. Uh, this shows that the exit was done here. Uh, we are in a uptrend. We could have added to this. I totally missed that. So now our next one is coming up here. And hopefully we can get the stochastic up there at least above 70 to qualify it. Take a look at the Dow, new high on the Dow. Maybe a double top, although that's kind of a fast double top. Uh, meaning that uh, it's better if you have a longer pullback and then go up and retest the high again. We'll see if it continues beyond it. Doesn't look like it too much today. Uh, Igor, we're coming down here for a possible entry, so maybe a setup in the next day or two. FedEx, uh, same thing, maybe a setup in the next day or two. F5 Networks. Um, we're in a downtrend here, so just be very careful with this particular setup here because you would definitely want to get a strike down here below 102. And I don't know that you're going to be able to do it on F5 Networks with any sort of, you know, within the next two or three weeks expiration period. Let's see, we got one, two, three. That would be normal expiration. And you usually don't get good strike spreads. You know, it might be a, let's take a look here. They might be um, regular June expiration. They're $2.50 strike spreads. But now when we get to some of the prices that we'd like to see, let's see here. Uh, we would want, I said, below 102. So we're looking at 100, and the delta is only 8. So I don't think that this would be, at this time, a very good 20 delta candidate. And we don't have a lot of months or a lot of expirations to pick from here. This is, mul this is not multi-week expiration. This is one week at a time. Very painful, very slow. Probably because there is not a lot of open interest looking at this column here in F5 networks. So uh, one to be careful with because it's thinly traded on the option side. So just keep an eye on that. Not sure uh, how we have done with F5 at this point. All right, we'll take a look at gold. I want to talk about something here. I am thinking about a naked put out here, but I need price to come down a lot further. This would be about the level I'd be looking to do it at 114. Um, I would be willing to take on 100 shares of the stock at $114, at least at this point. But there's no money in, there's no premium, no juice in the put at this time. As we can see here, it's like 67 cents. I need a little bit more than that. So if gold's going to continue to claw its way downward, I you can see here it's going to open up slightly uh, this morning. But um, it may continue its march down. So this would be where I would be considering it. So that's like a covered call. And there's been a lot of arguments about whether a naked put is better than a covered call or vice versa. And I don't think that that argument's ever been settled. It's whatever you prefer, basically. So that would cost, uh, let's see, a thousand. That'd be eleven thousand dollars. I don't think I even have enough money in the account to do that. So that's probably wishful thinking. But I'm gonna lock this down and let's pretend that we did it anyway. And sixty-seven dollars is not enough for the amount of risk that I'd be putting out there. Okay. Um, so that is that. Uh, 
gonna I think I'm pretty much gonna have to forget about that naked put unless I sell these shares and I would be selling them at a huge loss so I'm not doing that probably just gonna stick it out and not do anything at all oh and by the way um, are we in a setup mode for a 20 Delta here no we had a failure missed an opportunity but we had a failure and it's probably best we didn't really get up to 70 here either uh, preferably 80 so we're going to leave it alone alright over to Google let's see we live uh, in the United States of Google and uh, pretty soon the whole world will just call the whole world Google instead of the planet Earth we'll just call it planet Google all right, um, patiently coming down here, just not, I don't know if we're going to get a pause here or not, but we may get a violation here, but we're pretty close to being in a setup mode here for a bull put. Now, do we want to do a bull put? Well, that's a good question. We have the uh, EMA in an uptrend but the SMA is still creeping downward so this may be just a you know kind of normal breaks through the 50 moving average and fails and comes back down and continues its downward trend so that may just may be what's going to happen here so be careful with this particular um, target down here all right, uh, LinkedIn, we jumped in on that. Jumped in on LinkedIn. We leaped in on LinkedIn. Oh, okay, so, and then after after the close, well, that was just an abnormality. But we're back down here with the final trade of the day. So we'll just keep an eye on this one. All right, 3M. Oh, and that was a 50 delta trade. Okay, we're waiting for uh, it to hit another target there. NDX, uh, we're waiting for it to hit another target down here for a 20 delta. Um, looks a little top heavy up here, doesn't it? And a little problem breaking through this and continuing on. We'll see how it works out. Netflix. Looks like we might finish early today. Netflix refuses to come down and give us an entry. But we'll wait. Priceline, pretty much the same thing if I remember right. Ooh, Priceline may come down here and give us something. Now, if we get a hookup today on this, if I see that, I may do a 20 delta. Uh, Russell, was there, what's going on with Russell? Was there some sort of dividend already this morning or something? Anyway, um, EMA uptrend, SMA downtrend, about the cross here. Uh, let's just see what happens. But we are in 20 delta set up territory here. But be careful is all I can say. Just be careful. SPX. All right. Uh, we're waiting for it to come down here and hit our target. TLT. We missed an opportunity on this. But we have another one. So we are in 20 Delta setup territory. Doesn't look like it's going to give us what we want here. So... I'm not sure exactly what we're seeing on this. So just be careful with that one too. Uh, Tesla. All right, we are in setup territory on Tesla. And last but not least is Visa. Uh, almost ready for a setup on Visa. Again, be careful. We have EMA up, SMA down. Okay, so uh, believe it or not, we finished a little bit early. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.
and happy trading.